Welcome back to Hard Knocks. Hey, I love your mode of transportation. Uh, I have a lot to talk to you about. Not so much in the police car, but we're going to talk about that big old truck you got. Right. I like size matters. Thank you. Kind of flashy. You get to work really fast this way. I do. You know, the sports cars were cool, but this seems to get you there quicker. As much as I like this car, I'm more interested in talking about the big truck. Good, I'd love to show it to you. We've been doing some fun stuff with it, and uh, it's really good times. in the truck. You got it. So Hard Knocks is here with Mike Ryan. And in this case, size matters. Okay, so uh, we took a little spin around the neighborhood here. Uh, not really, no, we didn't do that. Uh, and this thing is fast. How much horsepower does it have? It's about 2,400 horsepower and about 3,500 foot-pounds of torque. How fast does it go? Right now it's geared for Pikes Peak, so about 118. <laughs> <laughs> but it'll get there pretty quickly. Big, strong, hard knocks kind of stuff. Yeah! I want to check out what the inside of this thing looks like. Come on up. All right, let's go. So Mike. The first thing I have to say, because the Rolls cage, I mean, is awesome. The seats are extremely comfortable. I need to buy some of these for my next turnover. You do, you absolutely do. These are made by Mastercraft down in uh, Santee, California. And they're full suspension seats out of the trophy truck. Mm -hmm. So it's got a 4130 chromoly uh, tubular frame around it. And it's kind of built like a lawn chair. You know, where Four, you've got the... 4130. Yeah. <laughs> so, tell me about like, that. Well, you know, I think we all need a little good luck charm, so we've got to have a hula girl in every race car, and uh, she just keeps following me around. We have the hula girl there, and then we have... Well, you know, it's a truck, so it's got to have chrome naked ladies. And we've got some up here that hold the helmet, and uh, girls here... Uh, I love the hula stuff, So, you know, that's what people don't get. A lot of people go, how do you drive up there? And it goes, man, it's like being in a yacht driving up on the flybridge. You know, it's perfect. You see everything. Yeah, the Pikes Peak... Race. Now, I drove in the back of my father's station wagon years ago up Pikes Peak, and I was scared to death just driving normal. How does it feel, especially up here, because the race car guys are down low, but you have a view of the imposing thing that's going to happen to you if you just happen to go off the side. And people have. I almost, uh, I spun it out last year. I lost my front brakes and spun out in the switchbacks up in the W's. Now, how long does it take you to get from the bottom to the end of the race? Well, our fastest now is 12 minutes and 38 seconds. Here comes B. Everybody's applauding. Uh, now I hear him. Some noise. Come on, there he, there he come on Mike! Mike Ryan in the number seven Freightliner plumes of black smoke and tires by wheels and coming out the <laughs> 